Hello everybody out there watching on YouTube and welcome to race number 11 of season 6 of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series. I'm Levi McIntyre, the voice of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series, here to welcome you to the Toyota Challenge here at Sonoma Raceway. This is our second road course event of the season and we're getting set for 11 laps of racing here in good old wine country. But before we take a look at the starting lineup, top 10 in points rundown. After last week at Talladega, Cole Deaver extended his points lead even more to 31 points over Matt McIntyre. Third is James McLeod. Fourth, Jake Baskinger. Fifth, Rob Evans. Sixth is Zachary Fitzwater. Seventh, Caleb Kilbird. Eighth, Bradley Zorgdrager. Ninth, Anthony McCrory. And tenth is Jessica Shelton. So that is a look at the top 10 in the point standings coming into this race. Let's look at the starting lineup. Starting in the last row, we have Zachary Fitzwater and James McLeod. Top 10, Melissa Alexander gets her second pole of the season. Starting next to her is fellow rookie Rob Evans. Row 2 will feature Logan Bradley and Jake Rogers. Row 3, Dylan Pote, Jonathan Zorlin. Row 4, Tim Fiegel, Emmanuel Hartnett. And then row five, Cody Lamas and Anthony McCrory. Let's go ahead and get the command to fire engines for the Toyota Challenge at Sonoma in wine country. Drivers, start your engines! As all 40 drivers going through the apex hairpin before they get to the start finish line to get this race underway. Whoa, a little bit of contact with some drivers on the uh, inside line for this restart. So, this, uh, or not the restart, but the pacing lap before the start of the race. So, the field might get cluttered as a result. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to boogity, 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 go! Melissa Alexander led the first lap and has pulled away to nearly a nine-tenth of a second lead over Rob Evans. As Rob Evans maintains second place. And pretty much the majority of the top ten are running single file. And now I saw on that first lap, uh, Logan Bradley in the 90, last scored in 12th, pretty much overdrove the final corners before we got to the hairpin and just flat out nearly wrecked his car and somehow kept it straight and still running in the top 15. And now actually about to try and take 11th from Kyle Matthews, but ended up having to slow down to keep from running into the 42 because they came dangerously close to running into each other right there in that corner. And you're going to be seeing some drivers, yeah, they're going to overdrive this corner here and maybe get up into the rumble strips and into the dirt possibly the back up at the front Melissa Alexander still maintaining the race lead but let's see the margin this time it was almost nine tenths at the end of lap one now it has extended to nearly 1.6 seconds 
closest battle we've got going on on track right now is Kyle Matthews, Logan Bradley still fighting for real estate in the 11th position. Right now, Bradley would have that spot unless... No, this is actually for 12th. Never mind. This is actually a battle for the 12th position between the 90 and the 42. Cole Baker currently up here in the 10th position. Maybe was looking for a possible uh, way to get around Anthony McCurry right there for a knife, but doesn't quite make it work, at least not just yet. Lamas gets up into the dirt a little bit. Logan Bradley overdrove that corner again, but managed to keep it straight. We may have a battle for the fifth position go on here in a moment. Jake Rogers has the spot, but Emmanuel Hardnett was slowly creeping his way up to the back bumper of the 56, but now with that uh, run through the hairpin there, Rogers was actually able to get a little bit of a gap between himself and the 20. Jake Rogers, who came off of a very successful run last week at Talladega, finished top five at Talladega last week. Now, keep in mind, after today, we got one race left before we have All-Star break this Friday, and that next race will be the Mountain Dew 400 at Darlington this Wednesday, and then this Friday will be the All-Star stuff at Armory Digital Super Speedway. In fact, Armory Digital will be hosting two special races this season, as breaks in between uh, thirds of the season, like the thirds being 12 races. So every 12 races, we would get a special non-points event, with this Friday being the all-star stuff at Armory Digital, and then after race 24, we're going to do for the first time ever, and maybe the only time, depending on how many rookies we would end up getting per season, we're going to do a rookie dash at Armory Digital Super Speedway, but it will be the shortest race we have ever ran. <gasps> Excuse me. Perhaps about a nine-lap dash between nine rookies this season, and whoever wins the rookie dash, similar to the All-Star race, would get a guaranteed ride for Season 7 next season. But meanwhile, Jake Rogers kind of slowed up a little bit going up the hill there, and now Hardnett's reeling him back in. Hardnett working hard on that back bumper of the 56 of Rogers. He's going to have a shot going here into this corner, but does he make the move stick or is he going to stay in line? A little uh, bump right there to the back bumper of the 56, but stays in line. Meanwhile, the closest side-by-side -side battle we got right here, last scored around 26th or 27th, Charles Sanford and Caleb Kilburn fighting for position. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Huge contact, but they saved it. Looked like Caleb Kilburn maybe either just got tied off the corner or hit a rumble strip and just got up into the 3 and almost took both, almost took each other out, but... Managed to save it and maintain position, which was impressive. Great driving on the part of the 99 and the 03. Then we got a side-by-side -side fight going on here between Jay Jefferson and Johnny Gardner. That would have been for the 22nd position right there. Although uh, Benjamin Miles has reeled his way into the fray for himself, even Carson Gum as well. Whoa, LaDuke about overdrove that corner, and he was side-by-side -side with James Qualls, and it looked like that was for the 15th position. And Qualls had a run underneath Joey Parkhill for 14th, but didn't quite make the move stick. As we go back to check out what's going on up here at the front as we're pretty much at the halfway point and Melissa Alexander has led every lap so far and continues to pull away as she's looking for her first career win in the Marvel Studios Cup Series. And according to uh, NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup uh, Series 
uh, officials and uh, runners, Melissa Alexander and Joey Parkhill will be returning in Season 7 in those same cars, so they're going to be guaranteed rides for next season, uh, according to uh, the owner of the series. Oh, we actually got a couple cars damaged. I didn't even know about Jordan Forbes with big time damage on the sides and rear of his car. Zachary Fitzwater's got damage. What about some of these guys? I see Trent Dunham's got damage. Looked like there might looked like there was a multi-car accident that took place. Let's see if anybody's out of the race. No, everybody's still running on track. Oh, and we just had a wreck right here. I figured this was bound to happen. Emmanuel Hardnett and Jake Rogers were racing each other really hard up towards the front, and they end up making contact and spinning and hitting the tire barriers. And I think that's going to, depending on what happens, if they're going to elect to come into pit road to repair, Rogers staying out, but it looks like Hardnett has no choice but to come to pit road to see if he can get his damage fixed and get back out to make up some ground, if possible. I don't know. He's going to more likely end up in the bottom five this week, which is definitely not where you want to be at the end of races, is in that bottom five where you don't get any points whatsoever. But let's see if Hardnett's going to try and drive on through to the end of the race or is he going to retire looks like he's going to try and continue Johnny Gardner I didn't realize was in the very back over there but good news for a lot of drivers that moves a couple of drivers up through into the top 10 like Logan Bradley up to 9th and Joshua Collard up to 10th and I guess earlier Qualls was able to get around Joey Parkhill for a spot on the racetrack. As far as where's the closest side-by-side -side battle going on, right here, Jessica Sheldon, Benjamin Miles going at it. Looks like this is for the, I want to guess, 23rd position right here. And Sheldon going to get the advantage. Sheldon, who won at Talladega this past uh, weekend, not having the best of runs going on here today at Sonoma. The back up here at the front now off to nearly a four and a half second lead. Melissa Alexander who's led every lap from the pole and all she's got to do is just keep it straight and not make big mistakes and she's got this win in the bag. Meanwhile Rob Evans who came into this race in the top ten or so in the point standings looking to move up into the standings as a result of a great run and Jonathan Zorlin definitely looking to try and get back into the top 10 in points after a rough last few races Dylan Pote looking to try and make some noise Tim Fiegel just trying to improve upon his, the struggling struggling start he's had to the season Cody Lamas is currently in the sixth position just looking to improve Anthony McCurry who made it into the top 10 in points after Talladega Looking to try and move up even further in the standings. Cole Baker kind of just trying to skyrocket his way up. Logan Bradley, who came in dead last in points, looking to try and get out of this slump he's in in hopes of getting higher and higher in the point standings. And then Joshua Collard, who's been struggling all season considering he was one of the dominant drivers last season points wise and he's just looking for a break to start an uphill roll for himself meanwhile it looks like Joey Parkhill actually was able to gain a couple spots as he's moved up to 11th Rafael LaDuke following suit up to 12th LaDuke's been having a good last couple of weeks got a top 5 finish nearly won Talladega last week Right now having a decent day in 12th. Meanwhile, we're getting ready to come take the white flag as Melissa Alexander came out of the hairpin. White flag is out for the six car. Total domination from the number six ZevBellringerPorn.com Ford out of Average Joe Enterprises. 
Looking around to see how everyone else is doing on the racetrack. And Emmanuel Hardnett actually ended up retiring from the race, but looks like the bottom five has been settled. It looks like it's going to be Fitzwater, Forbes, Gardner, Jefferson, and Hardnett. Definitely not what those guys needed. Closest battle we got going on the racetrack, if I can even find one. Oh, it looks like it's virtually single file the whole way through. As Melissa Alexander goes through the hairpin for the final time, she could honestly now coast from here and she could easily win this race. Checkered flag is getting ready to wave. First career win, Melissa Alexander wins the Toyota Challenge at Sonoma. Complete and utter domination of the field for that six car. Definitely going to be a big confidence booster for not only herself, but for that whole team of Average Joe Enterprises. Definitely going to give them some confidence going into Darlington this Wednesday. But now let's take a look at the rest of the results. Rob Evans continuing his successful rookie season, finishing in second. Jonathan Zorlin with a much-needed good run in the third position. Dylan Poteet, solid run in the fourth spot. And then Tim Fiegel rounding out the top five in fifth. Um, Cody Lamas finishing in the sixth position. Cole Baker, another solid top ten run for that uh, Baker Baskinger racing car. Anthony McCurry finishing strong in eighth. Logan Bradley's third top ten finish of the season. And then Joshua Collard rounding out the top ten. Then there's the rest of your top 20 top 30 and then the bottom five as I said was uh, Zachary Fitzwater, Jordan Forbes, Johnny Gardner, Jay Jefferson and Emmanuel Hartnett. Well that does it for our coverage today here at Sonoma. This Wednesday we head to Darlington for the Mountain Dew 400 and then this Friday will be all-star coverage at Armory Digital Super Speedway but until we get to Darlington here are your results, rookie points and regular points heading into Darlington. This is Levi McIntyre signing off.